Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about Selenium WebDriver API commands to handle the edit box with example. Here you can see the list of API commands which we use in edit box. The first one is to check whether the element is displayed or not. And the second one is to check whether the element is enabled or not. And then the third one is send keys which is used to enter the input value. And fourth one is to clear the values which is presented in the edit box. And the finally get attribute which is used to get the values displayed in the edit box. Here you can see a sample test case where I have included all the methods into this example. We are going to navigate to the daemon QA registration screen. In that we are going to verify the first name is displayed, enabled and then we are going to enter a value and finally we have to get that value and display it. Once again we are going to clear that value and check what is the value available in the field. Now we will see how to implement this practically. This is the website seleniumqa.com registration. In most of the upcoming videos I am going to use this page for practical implementation. As per the sample test case we have to do all the validations for first name. For that we have to inspect it. For the first name we have so many locators. For the name locator the value is first name. I am going to use this particular value. We have created a class handling edit box then creating a new instance for a chrome driver and maximizing the window after that going to launch the URL. The first step is to find the first name. So driver dot find elements by dot name and the name value is first name and this is the object we have to find it. Instead of using the same code again and again we have another method for reusability web element under the web element I am saving the what I have did is instead of mentioning this full line in every places I have created a first name variable in the web element interface in that I am storing this so that for validation purpose and for everything I can mention this first name alone. You will get more clarity when I code it. It is throwing an error. Click above that. Import the web element org.openqa.selenium. Once it is imported, our first step is to verify the first name is displayed. If first name dot is displayed then syso control space enter so system dot out dot printl and this is a shortcut key the first name is displayed else first name is not displayed we'll check whether this is working or not now i will run it control shift f11 it's launching that website so the browser is launched and uh, the page is navigated to the registration screen I think the validation is completed we will check the result the first name is displayed the next step as per the test case is verify the first name is enabled same way if copy and paste it here dot is enabled then the first name is enabled else the first name is disabled step 2 completed step 3 completed step 4 is we have to enter the first name enter the first name and uh, it is always a good practice if the enable status is true and then only we can enter the value same step I am going to do it again if this is enabled then I am going to perform in the first name dot 
send key send keys is used to enter the value p north and now the v north value will be entered in the first name field and an output message first name value is entered always we must give the else condition unable to enter the first name we'll check how this is working now control shift f11 run it the url is launched value is entered before entering the value it is checked whether it is displayed and then it is enabled or not we'll see the results file see the first name is displayed the first name is enabled and the first name value is entered as per the requirement the next step is we have to get the value from the first name edit box you know very well how to get the value dot get attribute and it is value it means spy this field you can see after the input tag is it's the value that is a reason the attribute i have given here is value now this value needs to be saved to a variable it should be a string first name edit box equal to this value this code what it will do is it will get the value which is presented in that edit box and it is saved to fn edit box now we can print it i am going to print the value for the system dot out dot print and the value present in the first name field is the value which it retrieves print it here as per the requirement the next step is to clear the value in the first name first name dot clear as per the requirement i am clearing the value then going to get the value since it is a duplicate we are getting the error so i am just uh, renaming it i am just adding wait thread sleep 3 second so that we can see what exactly happening just add throws and declaration in that interrupted exception now we will execute control shift f11 navigated to the page entered the value vinod then it cleared the value now we'll see the result file so the first name is displayed the first name is enabled then the first name value is entered after entering we got the value it is vinod then we are clearing it then when we try to retrieve the value it is empty this is our requirement we have completed coding for that hope you got an idea how to use all these methods in the real time scenario that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries in the comments or mail me and don't forget to subscribe to get the notification for new videos uploads thanks for watching happy learning